Okay, hello everyone. This is Basket News Talks. I'm the host Donato Surbanas, and today we're visiting Milan. And uh, I'm glad to present you my guest, Gianpaolo Ricci, the player of uh, Armani Milano. Hello, hello everybody. Listen, Gianpaolo Ricci is, I would say, underrated, the most exciting Euroleague rookie you will get to know about because he's 30 already, yeah. right? And he's uh, playing his rookie season in the Euroleague and his path is inspiring and uh, very interesting. And we will get through your journey. But let's start with maths. Why do you like maths so much? What do you find, find interesting in maths? Uh, I loved maths since I was young. Uh, I was, uh, at the beginning, when I was 14, 16, uh, uh, a study, um, a guy that got to school and uh, was really good to, to that before then a basketball player. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, be I became a basketball player after uh, being a, a good uh, maths uh, lover, you know? You know? And uh, uh, I decided to, 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 to try to take the degree in maths uh, when I played in the, in the third league in Italian, in the in Italian third league. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't, I, at that time, I didn't know that uh, at, at the age of 30, I will play Euroleague. Uh -huh. So, like you said, it was an amazing journey. And uh, every year I try to do my best uh, in the court and off the court. Uh, I try to, every time, have a, a, a plan B, you know, uh, outside of the basketball. So I try to, to do everything, to arrive at the end of, of my day, to be proud of what I did and uh, in practice and uh, also on the on the on the books, uh, I, I think I, to to have a, a talent in maths because I never studied maths uh, in, in in my school. I just go uh, in the in the lessons, and uh, I was uh, excited to understand what the, the what the teacher what the teacher said, and uh, so I I, I keep uh, keep doing this, and now I am uh, I miss one exam to the degree. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really happy for this, but uh, uh, mostly I'm happy to, to have played my first Eurogame game at the age of 30. But okay, what do you like about maths so much? I mean, why it's so exciting for you? My, you know, it's, it's a bit unusual, you know, for yeah, basketball players unusual, to like maths. Uh, but uh, the way of thinking, uh, the numbers, uh, the, the geometry, um, I, I like it. I, I like it. I have a, a pentagon of my elbows mm -hmm. that uh, is a mix of my family and uh, the, the, um, the geometry. You know? So we are five in family and uh, the pentagon is, uh, is uh, something uh, perfect. Uh, for me, so I like. Uh, I'm. Mm, I think in um, in a mathematical way. No, I, maybe I see things mm, things different uh, of, uh, of other people. I I see this court uh, like uh, two uh, square, mm -hmm. not like a, a big rectangle. So so maybe this is a, a, a little different, but. Uh, Mm, I don't know. I don't know, but I like numbers. I like uh, I like maths. I like uh, uh, I'm curious, so I want to keep uh, doing this and uh, learn. Usually, people who are into maths, uh, they like things things to be logical, you yeah. know, logical thinking, logical way. Would you agree with me that your path in basketball was illogical as it can be? Yeah, is uh, this is really? An interesting thing because, in, for me, basketball and maths are like um, uh, yin and yang, you know, two ways of 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 mind. Uh, because from one side there is the rational things, that is the uh, the exercise, that is the the theorem, the the demonstration of the theorem that you can't um, imagine. You, you can't you can imagine, but you can't. Uh, go outside of, the, of that. Mm -hmm. Instead, on the other side, there is the emotion of the basketball that is uh, irrational. Uh, I was thinking about uh, um, that, I don't know, maybe the free throws. They study the perfect free throws with the parable, with mm -hmm. the angles. But, you know, if you are down by two at one second left and you are on the free throw, 
there is no mathematical, there is no, there is nothing, there is no angles, there is, uh, there is the, your path, there is the, the exciting, there is your hands that maybe is like a little bit, uh, shaking, you know, shaking, yeah. And uh, so there is two, two phases of, of, uh, of my personality. So I like to um, play three hours in the, in the gym and then maybe I go home and I put my, spend one hour to, to mm -hmm. books. And I know that uh, there are two different things, but uh, that are part of, uh, of, my, of my being. And talking about these irrational things, in 2014 you were almost 20, uh, 23 years old. You still played in the third division before promoting to the second division. And I will be honest, in Lithuania, if you are 23 and if you don't perform on Jargis or Ritas, it's, it, it means that you're done. You have no future. What do you remember about that young, okay, you're still young, but what do you think about that 23 year older, who, what he was thinking about his life, about his career, what's going next? This is a good question, it's a good point because um, um, I feel young, I feel uh, now I'm 30, but uh, I feel like uh, I was uh, 23. And uh, like I said, all my season, uh, I, I didn't, um, my, my visual was not uh, on the two, three years on the EuroLeague, on the NBA. I just live the day, I just do my best uh, every day and uh, Every year, for me, I want the, the next year. I would like to be better than the, the previous. So also now that I'm 30, I feel better. I think I am a, a, a be, um, an athlete mm -hmm. better and a player better than last year. So every year I try to to improve a little bit, you know, to make uh, uh, one step, a little step, one little step, one little step. And uh, with no limits, you know, and um, working, 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 uh, I arrive here and I'm, I'm really happy about that. At, at 24 years old, if you told me that uh, in 2021 you will, I will be in, the, in Tokyo, I was, uh, I, I think, I, mm, that you, 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 was, you, you was joking, you know, mm. I, I, was, I was laughing a lot. But uh, I, I did it, and uh, I'm I'm happy to 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 don't put limit in my mm. in my in my life in my in my thing, and uh, I try to to keep doing this to to watch tomorrow and not the day after tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow I will be I want to be better than today. So in my life uh, I did uh, the fourth the fourth the, the yeah. fourth league. The third, the second, my first year in the first league was at 20, 20, 17, 20, right? yeah, 20, Cremona, right? Cremona in 25. Also, I, I, the national team in 26 or 27. So, um, I'm different. I'm different and, uh, but I, ne I don't, I, if I think to my journey, I, mm. I don't want to change nothing. Uh -huh. Because I arrived in the first league at 26, because I was ready. Maybe at 23, I was not ready. So what you were missing? That's the main issue. I mean, what were you missing? Why you weren't ready at that time? Or maybe some teams, you know, just had you under the radar. You know, um, a lot of uh, a lot of things. If you if you are 22 and maybe you play in the in the in the first league, you are not so confident. Uh, uh, maybe you can say that to play in the first league, but uh, in two, three years, uh, you lost confidence and you don't play so much minutes. Uh, in my life, I was um, the thing that I was uh, every year a protagonist. So mm -hmm. I was in the court, I was 30 minutes in the course, I was, uh, I struggle, I, I learn how to, to be, um, to be part of a team, uh, to be a, a important part, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, I don't know if uh, this is better than to play maybe in. A, I prefer I every every time I prefer to stay a, a step mm -hmm. down, but uh, to be protagonist. And Not to this, skip steps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
and this this helped me a lot because uh, I realized that uh, if I have to go to the second league, I have to be one of the best of the third league. Then I go in the second and I say, okay, now I, I, nobody will give me nothing. So I have to prove that I am one of the best on the second to arrive on the first. So I tried every time and I, want to be, I, I, I wanted to be protagonist and uh, mm, I, I, I did it. And uh, step by step, little step. How many times you heard that Gianpaolo, maybe you should be more in maths, maybe you should do some, you know, uh, business consultant or something yeah, yeah. like that instead of playing in the second league, for example, for all these years. A lot, a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, you know, when, uh, when you are 25 uh, and you, you perform in the second mm -hmm. league, uh, you don't have the, the lights on you or nobody uh, think about you like a, a football player, so... Um, only my family and my, my, my friends that be, really believe in me uh, was, uh, was uh, 30, uh, 360, 65 days with me. Mm. Uh, but this helped me because uh, I want to, um, I spent my career to prove something. You know? I come from uh, Chieti, that is a small Italy in Abruzzo that nobody knows. Uh, so at, six, at 16, I go away from home. Uh, with nothing in my hand because uh, I was not uh, the, the best athlete, I was not the best shooter, I was not the, the best um, of, um, I don't know, something in the court. Mm -hmm. And I was a little bit uh, fat when I was young, uh, I was a problem on the ankle. So mm -hmm. I, li I leave home and I said, okay, let's try. I, wa I want to do my best. Uh, if my best, uh, if, if, if do my best, it, it means to play in the third league, okay. Let's, let's play in the league because my best is that. Mm -hmm. So every, every year I, I, I want to do, I want to prove something because when I go, when I leave home, a lot of people say, oh, where you go? You, you can't arrive. Uh, it's impossible. Look at you. You are not, uh, you are not an athlete. You are, well, look at you. You can't uh, dunk. You can't do. You, can, mm -hmm. you can't score. So this helped me, helped me a lot because I spend uh, one hour more in the, in the, in the gym, more than the, the people around me. And even if uh, at the age of uh, 16, 17, I was the, on my team, maybe the last, now I arrived. And uh, I spent all my career to, to, to prove something to myself first and then uh, to the people that don't believe me. So this, is what, this was the, the motivation that uh, keep, keep me. I hope that many 25, 24 year olders are watching our interview. Yeah. What would you advise them right now, you know, to let's say, to follow to, your, your, your footsteps. It doesn't mean that every story will finish as yours, yeah, for yeah, example. For sure. First thing, to, to know your limits. You know, I every, I, every, every year I work on my, on, on my weak side and I try to improve that. And every time I, I fight with something, I, I don't try to, to put a finger. Because one day, a, 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 uh, an old man said that if you put a finger, you have three fingers on you. Hmm. So okay. every time I try to uh, resolve a problem with myself, with, uh, hmm. with my... Um, I, I try to resolve the, the problem. I don't say, okay, it's, it's your fault, I don't play because it's, uh, it's the coach's fault, I don't play because my teammate doesn't pass me the ball. So every time I look my limits and I work on that. And uh, I don't... Uh, I said to don't listen to nobody, to the young people, but it's not, it's not true because you have to listen the, the right thing, but you don't have to listen to the, you know, the haters of the, mm -hmm. the people that say shit about you. Uh, you, you, but you have to listen to the, to the, to the coach, to, the, to the, your teammates. So try to believe in yourself and work on you and, and do your best. And then uh, don't put limits on you. And then uh, through through work, you 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 can do you you can improve. So w what I can say to a 25 years old is uh, to prove yourself that maybe next year you can do you can be better than than today in a in a little thing you know. But little thing together become mm -hmm. great thing. And uh, like you said, it's not every time like this. 
but uh, my my story told tell that uh, this is this is possible I, I had a dream to to be a professional player and uh, a lot of people like you said say come on where you go mm. stay stay at home stay, study maths you, maybe you can be an engineer you can make some money after this yeah you more can, money even yeah more, even more money uh, but in my mind uh, I when I have the ball in my hands when I play you know like we said that, that is uh, an emotion uh, that um, that makes me alive you know and uh, I want to. I want to prove that uh, I can play in front of uh, twenty thousand people, and I can be protagonist on that. And uh, when uh, when you shoot uh, the ball and uh, and you made it, there is nothing comparison. And mm. uh, this uh, this is what pushed me and what uh, keep pushing me now that I'm thirty. And uh, I want to. I want to keep improving. Uh, keep learning. It pushed you. To the first division at first, it was Mayor Sakete, the coach who invited you to Cremona in 2017. You were 26 almost. You you turned 26 in, in September, uh, right? Yeah. And uh, Mayor Sakete, I, I read your interviews. Uh, you kind of uh, said that he's he was like a father figure f uh, for you, uh, and he was very important for for also your debut in Italy national team. He bring you to the Olympic Games and stuff like that. But what I want to ask you, can you share any personal experiences uh, which uh, and personal stories which would describe your relationship with Mayor Sakete and how he boosted your career later, both, you know, on the basketball court and off the court? Yeah, Mayor was, uh, was very, very important for me. Uh, in, a, in, my, in my journey, I was not so... Um, Cosa dice? Fortunato, come si dice? Luck? You were missing lucky. luck? Huh? Yeah, I was not so lucky. But in, the, when, uh, in, in that moment, I was so lucky mm -hmm. because Mayo called me, I signed for him, and in two months, he became the, the coach of the national team. So it was my first year in Cremona, in the first division, with the national team coach. In my mind, I have to show to him that uh, I can do it. So every day I go in, in practice with um, an extra motivation, no? because uh, uh, I, at the beginning we don't know each other, but uh, I try to be uh, a, a good teammate, I try to be a good person, I try to be a good, uh, a good player. So I, I remember an interview after three, four months that Mayo said, uh, uh, I don't think that, I, I don't think that, uh, uh, John Paolo was uh, so good to play basketball mm, okay. because uh, maybe in the, in that moment I was doing uh, good, good things. Uh, the first year was uh, up and down. Um, in the second year, uh, I don't know what happens in my mind, in my in my confidence. The first three four months was amazing. We were were amazing, and uh, after that, Mayo called me in the in the, in the national team and. Uh, really was uh, I was so proud of that because uh, he that that uh, saw me every day in practice understand that maybe um, I deserve that, that, that call no uh, like we said no, nobody gives you nothing in life nobody uh, makes gift uh, mm -hmm. free uh, that come that uh, convocation that uh, that call uh, was really really deserved in my in my mind so I, I was really happy and I, and I keep doing um, well, what, I, what I was doing in, the, in, in that moment. And uh, the confidence that I, that I, that I had in, in that moment was, was really high. And uh, he, he helped me a lot. He helped me a lot because he understand, uh, he knows me well and he knows that I'm really emotional, that uh, um, also starting from the bench, uh, sometimes I can uh, change the the way of the of the uh, rhythm of the of game. The, the rhythm of the game, yeah. Uh, I can put energy, I can put uh, aggressivity, and I can I can I can share with the other uh, the fire I got in me. I, every time I say, every time, no, not every time, but uh, uh, I talk with him and I say that uh, I feel I feel fire in my inside, in my inside, and uh, sometimes I will. will 
when I go home and uh, I play maybe bad or maybe not so many minutes, I was really frustrated because uh, I want to, I don't want to score, I don't want to make uh, 20 points and 15 rebounds. I just want to help the team because I feel that I, I can do it with, uh, with the little things, with, uh, also with the scream, with, um, you know, with the eye contact, with, uh, uh, with the, when the hand shake. So I feel that um, uh, I was born to, to be in the court and to help, to help uh, uh, team to, to, to share emotion. Uh, this, uh, I can say that because uh, a lot of people, maybe in Cremona or in Bologna, uh, told me that uh, I I give emotions, you know, you mm -hmm. know, and this is, uh, for me is the, the the best part, the best message that I can receive because uh, I feel that emotion, and then the people that uh, understand me uh, and understand this emotion it, for me is, uh, is my mission, you know, you know, uh, and may all understand that. Uh, maybe a lot of times I understand that uh, it's not my day, so he put me on the bench, or maybe after uh, 20 minutes he go, uh, go and he tell me and go. And uh, also, I think in my mind there is the, the the game against Nigeria that was the in the Olympics that was the um, the main games because we in the in the first round we can arrive first, but also last. So it was the main uh, the main games, and uh, I was all the fourth quarter in the court. So after maybe the first game with the with the Germany, I I, I don't go in the, the court, so mm -hmm. I make uh, um, zero minutes. And this this is me. So Mayo Mayo knows me maybe more than uh, more than Anybody others. Else? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I I will thank you him uh, forever because. Uh, is a is a good person and uh, he understand person b before the player. 2019, you joined the legendary club Virtus Bologna. After f the first season, you become a captain of Virtus Bologna, which is crazy because you have Milos Milos Teodosic, Marco Bellinelli in the locker room. <laughs> Did you need to think what you have to tell in the locker room as a captain for all these guys? <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy <laughs> because. Uh, Do you remember your uh, first speech for, for the players? Because could you realize that you're the captain for these guys, yeah, for these yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. stars? Uh, I don't remember the first speech, but I remember that uh, um, every day I try to to say something, you know, to say <laughs> to inspire, yeah, yeah to <laughs> to say let's go, come on, let's push. Uh, uh, a lot of a lot of times Milos say <laughs> say something to me and, and laugh. So <laughs> so uh, because you know it's impossible to be a, a captain to stay one step uh, up Milos or uh, mm. Marco Bellinelli or Kyle Wims uh, that are or Julian Gamble. Uh, so in my mind to be the captain of the team it means that uh, of that team it means to prove every day that. Uh, uh, I am a, an example to to follow, no? to push hard, to play hard, to every day to to practice. Uh, uh, maybe also when we lost, uh, to to be positive. Or also when uh, the game is not uh, uh, is not going the, in a good way, to stay there. Also, if uh, me, if I, I was not maybe the protagonist of the of the of that game, or uh, I was playing bad. So in my mind, I, uh, in two years. Uh, but also before, because it's me, it's part of me. I always think about the team before me. But this is um, this is me. So I was uh, more me than usually, mm. <laughs> and uh, more myself. Uh, uh, thinking about, about about the team, and in my mind there is uh, the speech before the the playoff of last year. That we are we approached to the playoff after lost in, after the loss in Kazan mm -hmm. with Kazan. And we were, we were done. We I, were really. I our, remember your Facebook post. It yes. was heartbreaking, right? Yeah, heartbreaking because uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited now. Ah. Uh, I remember after the game, I come back in the in the car with my girlfriend, mm. and I start crying because uh, that game was was the the most important for Bologna, uh, for the city of Bologna of uh, the last 20 years. Because he, the Euroleague was really a, a dream for for the city that the city deserved. So we we, we were with the, um, 
with uh, we were down we were in the uh, under the the the, tun the tunnel no mm -hmm. we were really uh, everybody was sad uh, we had the day off and then we started come back in the gym but uh, how you can come back in the gym uh, and, and say, okay, let's, let's try to, to keep pushing after that lose because we, we, we won the first game, we lost there and the, the third game at home, you, you can miss that. Instead, uh, we, we lost. And before the, the playoff, we were in the, at, the, at the end of the last uh, practice and I said to everybody, guys, come on, we, we are here. Uh, let, let's try, let's enjoy, let's have fun, let's do what we, what we can do. And, but I was not so serious because uh, um, I'm, I'm not a serious man, no? mm. so I'm not uh, the person I to say, oh, come on, mm. I, I do it, but also with something um, ironic, no? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I see Milos that uh, uh, start laughing in, in front of me, <laughs> and I say, come on Milos, let's go, let's do it, we can do it. I say, I believe in you, I believe in the team. And uh, that uh, one minute speech maybe changed, changed our mind, and we start, we approach to the playoff uh, with, the, with the aim to, to enjoy and to have fun. At the end, we, we never lost. We never lose, and um, was amazing. Was uh, was amazing to to win the championship and to be the captain of the team, and and to take to 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 take with my hands the trophy. Uh, that my next tattoo will be the trophy, <laughs> and uh, I was so happy. I was so happy, and uh, if I think uh, to the journey and uh, to my, uh, I said to an interview that. Uh, I dedicate that um, that trophy to to myself at the age of 16, mm -hmm. with uh, with a, a little bit belly, with <laughs> the ankles uh, destroyed, and uh, I was really happy about that. But how did it happen that the captain of the championship team of, of Virtus, of the main rival of Ormani, now is wearing red? Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. Life is uh, is crazy. Is uh, uh, you have to make uh, some some choice, some decision, and uh, the summer was so so fast because we, we we won. Then I have to go to to the national team for the pre Olympic, and really everything happened fast. And uh, I have to decide uh, a lot of things, uh, but you know, uh, I every every time in my life I. I, I take the decision and I go in the team that really want me. And uh, the person that uh, show most interest uh, in me was Messina, that uh, that called me and that uh, tell me a lot of things. And uh, at the moment to take the decision, I I want to go in the place that uh, that loves me most. No, uh, I was the captain and. In my mind, I, I could stay in, uh, in Bologna a lot of a lot of years, but uh, it's strange. But M Milan showed me to want me more than Bologna, so a lot of things happen, and uh, at the end, uh, the call of Messina changed everything, and I decide to it was a really tough decision because uh, we, we, we won the championship, uh, we were happy, the, 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 the fans were crazy, the, the, the Bologna, the city uh, was really happy. But you know, life is crazy and uh, I jump uh, from a train to another and now I'm really happy to be here, to, to play Euroleague, to, to play for this team, to be in this gym uh, and uh, because you, you realize that you are at the top level. Uh, in Italy and in Europe, uh, when you play every team, uh, every game to win that game, and when the, your opponent come uh, and say that they, they have to make the um, the game of their life to beat you, it means that you are in the in the in the in the, in the perfect place. Because now I'm uh, in, at the age of 30, like we said, with a little step, I think I I'm able and I'm ready to be here. Maybe three, four years ago. I was not so not so ready. Now I was the captain of Milos and Marco Bellinelli, and maybe I'm, I'm ready to be here. What do you think was the next crazy chapter uh, for Gianpaolo Ricci? I I have in my in my locker room uh, uh, 
uh, hoodie, uh, a hoodie with yeah. uh, with Berlin, Berlin, yeah. uh -huh. and uh, <laughs> the final four next year will be in Berlin. So I want to repeat the the, the big uh, result of uh, Milano last year in Euroleague, and maybe do one step more. Mm. So. I just want to want to enjoy this. Uh, want to keep enjoying my journey. I have here the the tattoo that is enjoy the journey. Oh, okay. okay. So I want to keep doing this and uh, uh, try to to help the team uh, to do a little bit more than last year. Before we finish, uh, let me ask you about two crazy experiences. First of all, coming back to Bologna as Armani player for the Supercoppa. And then uh, playing your first home game, I guess, uh, it was in the EuroLeague uh, when you entered the court in the end of the third quarter. Yeah. You finished the game and, uh, I mean, you finished the game, you weren't subbed out, except from the last seconds of the third quarter, yeah. and fans were chanting your name. So get us through these two very different experiences. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's strange because uh, uh, my, my first mission when I sign here is to, to win the Super Cup in, in Bologna. And I feel really that that game. I feel little, I feel, I feel, and I want to to win, to win the, the the trophy. But uh, the game was really 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 tough for me, for us, uh, and was uh, really a bad day. Mm. <laughs> that was really a bad day, uh, because also because a lot of people. Don't don't understand my my decision. That is okay for fans that uh, that see uh, mm. uh, the captain go in other teams. That is okay, but uh, was uh, was bad for me. Uh, but in my mind, uh, um, all the win in my life come comes from a loss. So mm. I keep in mind that that feeling because I want to at the end of the season change that. And, uh, and also we say in the locker room, um, let's keep in mind this feeling, because now we are sad. Now we are, we are, we want to 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 play again now, you know. And we lost maybe a, an opportunity. Uh, so it was really it was really sad. At, in the opposite, uh, the game against Sessa was uh, was amazing. It was my first game. I I turned in 30 years in uh, mm -hmm. three days, maybe three days before I uh, was my birthday. Oh, your birthday, okay. Yeah. And uh, my, my my first uh, my first game. It was the first game in forum. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, were you surprised that people were like chanting your name? I was really surprised. Surprised mm -hmm. because uh, less than three months ago they were cussing you. Yeah. <laughs> So for me, is uh, is really a, a, a good thing. Is um, you know, I, I come in the game, uh, and even if I don't make uh, a lot of points, even if uh, um, you know the stats uh, was not so so mm. amazing, but the, the, the people chase my names, and uh, that means what, what we we said uh, before emotions. that uh, emotions, emotion, because the coach put me in the game uh, was really a, a different, a difficult game because Seska was uh, one of the best. Mm. Uh, the, the level of physicality was uh, really high, and so I tried to to push. Uh, I start uh, the, the first two. The first to play in defense with Shengelia that uh, that want to attack me and I play defense uh, and we 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 make two stop in a row and then we go in offense and you know when you you start to make uh, one one bump uh, one rebound uh, the first play is uh, one uh, one on on sport mm, mm -hmm. the it foul. Steal. Yeah, yeah. I stole the ball. Uh, yeah, I stole the ball. Uh, you start to, to, to enter in the game and to to feel the, the court, to feel the bodies. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was really it was really amazing because for me it was the first game and uh, I didn't realize that people were cheating on me uh, till the moment that uh, Ettore subbed me, that Messina subbed me. And it was, it was amazing. It was amazing because uh, for all the the last year, for uh, for what uh, happens in the uh, two two three months, and uh, I'm happy that um, people uh, understand me in soon. You know, on the first game they understand me, and uh, it's the best. It's the best things, and uh, I, like I said, I'm here to help, and they they, they know that I'm here to help to, to help the team, and uh, I'm happy. 
to finish the interview, I will probably make the title for this interview like this. I, I don't know if you watched uh, that, uh, probably it was a TV series and probably Claudi Claudio should know better about it. It was uh, uh, The Incredible Mrs. Ritchie, some, some very old, uh, let's say, TV series. <laughs> okay. I didn't even watch it, but I like the, the, title, the title, Incredible Mrs. Ritchie. I would call it in The Incredible Mr. Ritchie, let's say the most exciting yearly rookie. But I have a feeling that one day you might write a book about your uh, life. If not you, somebody else, you know. What do you think what would what be the title of that book uh, of your life and of your journey? Ah, what a question. Ah. I like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe... Uh, I know. I, I in my mind, I have the the, the word believe. Mm -hmm. uh, believe, work hard, uh, and uh, um, Walt Disney say that if you can, if you dream it, you can dream it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't want still to to Nike. The the, uh. the, the you can do it. You yes, can yes, do yes. it. But uh, maybe yeah, maybe believe and. Uh, because uh, li life uh, is strange, uh, there are a lot of train uh, uh, that pass in front of you, uh, and I think that people can do every what they want if really believe in that. Uh, if they if they know what they are the, the, the priority, if they are able to um, to renounce to something and to, to struggle for, for what you believe. And uh, if you struggle and uh, you, work, uh, you work harder than uh, the people around you, maybe you can do it, so believe. Thanks a lot, Gianpaolo. Incredible story and we can, I can't wait to see what, what's the next you know, crazy thing which Gianpaolo Ricci will you know, make us uh, smile again in the future. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see. Gianpaolo Ricci, Donato Surbonas. Uh, you can watch all our episodes and all our interviews on basketnews.com, both on the website and both on uh, our web YouTube channel.